This is Huey from Tempestorm, and today I would like to discuss McCree's flashbang against certain characters. In this video, I want to talk about how to effectively use your flashbang against enemy Reinhardt and Genjis. Learning how to do so would allow you to set up certain plays with your team, such as coordinating bursts when stunning a Reinhardt, or even coordinating your friendly Reinhardt's Earth Shatter to Earth Shatter right as you stun them, which is a very common and also very powerful combo to use in competitive. Against inexperienced Reinhardts, they normally would not be expecting this, so you can stun right above their shield. Against more experienced Reinhardts, they will try to look to counter your play by angling your shield up. If they angle it up enough, you can flash under their shields, and if the Reinhardt angles it to cover his feet, you can still flash right above his head. Jumping can make it easier to stun the Reinhardt, but the enemy Reinhardt will start associating your jumps with the action of you going to stun. If they start reacting to your jumps, then you're going to have to mind gain them a little bit. So you can do things such as jump, bait them to look up, stun at your feet. You can not jump, then stun above their shield. Or you can do absolutely nothing, force a reaction, and stun them based on their reaction. Now for Genji, you have two options. You can stun him when he's using his deflect, or you can just wait for the channel to go off and then stun him right after. You can stun above him to the right of him, to the left of him, or the most reliable way is to stun at his feet. Or not at his feet, but somewhere in front of him. It's not necessary to really stun him out of his deflect, as winning out his channel is also very effective, but mastering this technique can make a Genji feel very afraid to even approach you. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out this YouTube channel for more content. Thank you for watching.